I needed some little pliers. I used to carry around a multi-tool that I really liked and the thing worked great until one day I was asking it to do something that it really couldn't do. I broke the tip off of it. And then my friend whips out a pair of these guys. Now these are made by Nipex and they are 87 100s. And they're like a little, basically little mini channel locks. I don't know if you can see that, they aren't that big. And I was like, holy cow, man, that's, that's really cool. See, they aren't very big at all. The reason he started carrying them was because he usually needed something with like a bigger jaw that could fit over something much larger. And it's got these really nice little teeth. I don't know if you can see that, but the way they grip and then how you would turn against it is the teeth bite into the workpiece that you're trying to, you're trying to affect. So I saw his, so I was like, okay, well, I got to get those. So jumped online and ordered a pair. And then they also had these pair, which are almost the same thing, but they're like, it's like a speed adjustable wrench and they don't have any teeth. Their whole job is for, uh, oh, like nuts and bolts and things. So this is a 5 16th. And as you can see, it clamps down pretty good. And I thought, well, shoot, I'll just carry both of these together. While searching these guys, I came across this guy. And this is the Pipe Vice Micro 5. And the reason why I like this one as well is because it's a one-handed operation. Let me open this guy up. So the reason I like this little pipe wrench is because it's one-handed. I can stick my hand back somewhere where it's hard to get to. And this, this jaw is spring-loaded. And it's a pretty tough little jaw. Is it bigger and is it harder to carry in my pocket compared to the other two Nipexes? Yeah. But I thought I might give them a try because handy little tools like this are always they're always nice to have around and you never want to grab the big one. It's always nice to have like a small one really close and handy. So I thought I'll get all three of these and I'll see which one I use the most. So I right now I'm partial to this guy in the middle because it seems the most universal. Uh, however, I'm going to work with them and then I'll let you guys know uh, what I think in a follow on. I've measured each one of these wrenches and what I think the leverage um, and where I measured it was uh, from the middle of the jaw to the bottom. So like the, the most effort that you could get out of it. And that's that distance. Uh, <clears throat> so as you can see, the pipe ice, is, the pipe ice Micro 5 has uh, an advantage of almost, almost two inches uh, in leverage over the two nip X's, which I've got. But I set up a standard test. So what I'm going to do is... Take a grade five, quarter 20, grade five, five sixteenths, 18, and a, um, I'm sorry, grade eight, five sixteenths, 18, and then a grade five, three eight, 16. And I'm gonna torque them all to their specs and then see if I can get them undone with each one of these. The reason I bought these is because I often travel and find myself needing a good pair of pliers, which I can put in carry on luggage without risking losing tools and checked bags.
I have to nut to test the 3 8 because it was difficult to get the foot 16 with the nip -X. And it was it was impossible to get the 5 16 with the other nip -X, the 86100. Obviously, as expected, the Pipe Vice Micro 5 was the easiest of all of them because it has almost two inches more of leverage. Uh, these jaws really grab onto stuff as well, uh, which could be a drawback if you're trying to work with something where you don't want to mar it up too much. These jaws are very, very toothy. Uh, not saying these ones aren't. However, they are smaller, and it, you can only get so much leverage on it. And you can kind of feel if a if a workpiece is slipping in the jaws with uh, a lever type plier like this, as opposed to a locking jaw, you really only feel the torque and while this thing's biting harder and harder and harder onto it. But I was surprised that the 86100s, they, they just wanted to torque themselves out of your hand. Every time that you got some good leverage, it was as if, it's just trying to torque it out of your hand and there, there wasn't enough handle for me to get a good just grip on them to really crank to loosen something up. So I haven't found the perfect place for these yet. I really like the way that they're made. They're just a just a very high quality manufacturer. So I like that about them. However, for what they are and how much they are. I, I really wish they had an inch longer handle, maybe somewhere in between here. So if it had if it had a handle maybe down to here, still within that pocket range, not as long as the Micro 5, but still within that pocket range, maybe these would be a lot better. That leads me to like, which one am I gonna carry? And I'm gonna carry these 87 100s because not only are they small, but these these little teeth can do can do a lot of stuff, and they can even get a hold of small stuff and pinch small stuff on the end there. Trying to pick up something small to kind of grab at it, you can easily do that with that. And these little teeth on the end are fine enough to be able to grab onto it, and then they're angled the right way, as opposed to the the soft jaw, which is on that the eighty six one hundreds. Micro 5, I think this is like a glove box wrench. All in all, I don't regret buying any of them. Definitely this is the one. This 87100 is, it is just an awesome tool. TSA guidelines state I can carry certain types of tools up to seven inches in length. Personally, I found this to be very subjective when traveling through other countries to the point where I've even had a spork confiscated from my luggage. I think these pliers are the right combination of competent and non-threatening to help me get them through. So far, I have had one successful trip with no loss of tools. Since regulations can change quickly, make sure you do your homework before you attempt to travel with anything you're unsure of. As always, thanks for watching and hope to see you again next time.